Hi, I'm Jeff Summers, author of the Avery Cade series, The Novel Chum, and Writing Without Rules from Writer's Digest Books. And this is Otto, who's here to supervise because I'm kind of unreliable. Today on Bad Advice Boogie, we're going to be talking about that pervasive chestnut show don't tell. If you're a writer who has submitted a piece of work to any kind of critical assessment in your lifetime, you've no doubt seen those three little words scrawled someplace on your manuscript. Show don't tell is exactly the kind of pithy, easily repeatable advice that you hear all the time in your writing career. And it's not bad advice per se, as most advice is, it's, it's all about interpretation. Um, personally, I have two problems with show don't tell. One, a lot of writers don't realize that show don't tell really is a revision tool. It's not really meant to be something that you apply during a first draft. First drafts are about the magic. First drafts are about the flow. First drafts are about getting ideas down on the page, working out plot kinks, developing characters, and having fun. Having fun is one of the most important aspects of a first draft. And if you're sitting there torturing yourself over show don't tell and other little ticky tacky um, worries, you're just gonna slow yourself down. You're gonna break your flow. You're gonna have a, a jumbled, terrible manuscript that takes forever to finish because you're constantly going back and revising in the, mo in the moment, which is a terrible idea. The second reason I don't much care for show, don't tell as a piece of writing advice is the way a lot of writers uh, choose to handle it, especially in the modern age. Uh you know, increasingly influenced by TV and films, a lot of people try to write uh, what you might call the cinematic way. What people often forget is that directors in, in visual media, in films and television, they were, they're relying on actors to interpret their lines. They're relying on people who have been trained to show emotion, to show the inner world of a character um, visually. When you're writing, you don't get that. You're, you're Characters are not actors. They're not going to independently um, interpret what you're trying to say. Um, and that gets lost on the page. A great example of cinematic writing gone wrong is the opening sequence to Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. Um, it's spatially and visually confusing, and it doesn't really work as a piece of writing. Um, sure, there's a lot of showing, there's not a lot of telling, but it doesn't really work. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time on Bad Advice Boogie, I'm Jeff Summers, and I think I've just been fired.